What's up YouTube? Today we're looking at some Barlows and right from the jump you can tell some of these things are very similar. Um, for instance, Case has these big bolsters on too and when it doesn't have a bolster on one of these Barlows you can still tell that it's by Case just from the look of the blade. These are Baron Sun and then this is an Ottermesser and Stag. This guy is very good to go. I have done a video on him or her it we day. I will put a uh, put a little thing, a little card to pop up. I think I also did a video on this guy. Difference is you can tell it's got that kind of give in the middle. It's not as snappy has a secondary. This is a promotional knife, which I don't mind at all. So now we're to case, firm positive snap. Oh yeah, on all of these guys, on all of them. Very much killing it. I'll get a hold of a modern case at some point, see how they stack up. So, although I got all of these for the same price. I, first of all, people sometimes are like, why do you watch eBay? Like, what's the deal? Um, Cause it's not the best prices, but guess what? All of these cost $50. All of these are worth more than $50. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got this on a long shot offer. Couldn't be happier with it. It is great. There is nothing wrong with this. Um, in Europe, they're not as anally retentive about the gapping. I know sometimes Americans are like, it's not as good fit and finish. It, it, it's like, all right, bro. Um, they're not the same thing, so. This Baron Sun isn't bad. As, as, oh, oh no. Oops. We got this guy, one blader. I was gonna carry this, but I think I'm gonna carry this now, now that I have it out in my hand. Sharpen it up a little. Looking real good. It's pinchable is the main thing for me. This guy is killing it. I love that there's no shield. Love the Appaloosa bone. Love it, love it, love it. Couldn't say it enough. Great action. I love some of the patina on there. I'm not really about polishing something to death. Um, So if you guys, I mean, look, I get there's recession coming, inflation right now, potential recession, knock on wood. But uh, if you can get one of these guys for 50, definitely jump on it. If you can get one of these guys for 50, look at it. If you like it, grab it. Any of these guys are worth 50. I mean, that's like, th these are all great pieces of color at, at budget prices, quote unquote. You're not going to get a, a decent knife for ten dollars. I, I don't know. That's never been a thing, as far as I know. I don't care how far back in time you would have to go. You're not. Knives aren't like popsicles and soda from the general store. They're totally different things. So, I don't believe you could ever do that. And I don't. And I've never heard anyone say you could. I'm just saying, especially in this hobby, there's old timers that like to one up you. I I just think that some pieces you can kind of put a. You can at least be like, yo, these are good at 50 or under. So um, I definitely like the big bolsters, but I also like how then the contrast of the smaller bolster style. And I even like it that this has a bare head, um, but that also helps it show off the stag. If you can get, yeah, this, this stag one is great. Anyway, sorry if this is a little bit long and meandering, but um, I wanted just to show off. 
I don't think I have any other Barlows that aren't GEC level. And I just wanted to show stuff that is like available and you can get them on the secondary. So, hey, thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate you folks. That's all she wrote for this one. And I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.